Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always I also publish on Rumble, on the blogger site as an archive post thingy and on Patreon for extra support and I go about Twitter, X platform, uh, any kind of updates and the such there um, yeah, yesterday I didn't manage to get around doing some live stream uh, but I did manage to publish the VOD from the last stream that I did so it's basically the first part of Mikela's Alec tree I reached to the point where we found uh, Millicent and uh, reached uh, Elphael, uh, the base of the Alec tree I think it's called like that and yeah uh, when I can, uh, I will <laughs> I will try to do more live streams and for that just keep an eye on, on Twitter because when I do live stream I uh, go about announcing there. Uh, again, I cannot commit to a, a proper uh, schedule uh, mainly because of the work schedule that I have sometimes. Uh, this last week has been a little bit complicated. I missed a day on the new stuff. Um, yeah, it depends a lot of uh, what I have to, to do for work. But yeah, later today we will have a Star Wars Jedi Survivor episode, so keep your eyes on it later on, and probably a little bit more of uh, Elden Ring, so we can prepare ourselves to uh, to the expansion. Yeah, um, and yeah, I still need to do uh, the like a theory video regarding uh, Nox, uh, sorry, Nox and uh, Newman stuff. Yeah, it's been a little bit complicated for me to put my head straight and 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 do the visual stuff there yeah uh, again uh, work stuff um yeah it, it's a little bit tricky but yeah i uh, got everything here uh, let's go to the news we got some news from uh, computex taipei uh, regarding uh, uh, battle mage gpu stuff there uh, supposedly it's official announce uh, at least the battle mage is going to be integrated on the apus uh, from uh, intel uh, I think it's L Lunar Lake first, so 15 Chen, if not mistaken. It will be integrated there first, and afterwards the discrete GPUs, uh, so the proper Battle Mage will be coming out later. There is no, not even a year, if this year or next year, I don't know. There is no uh, concrete uh, provisional launch date even. Uh, but yeah, uh, similarly, the, 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 the Battle Mage architecture, um, they are going to naming now XC2, so to simplify the naming scheme, because they were, uh, the, the core stuff, they, they were very tricky to, to, to name it, the, the naming scheme there, and they simplify it, so uh, X, XE2, uh, so it's uh, Battle Mage is going to be called like this, and they were uh, supposedly designed from the ground up, uh, supposedly we, we're going to have higher utilization, proof work distribution, less software overhead, which is good. The less uh, software overhead, it's something that NVIDIA has a little bit uh, on the driver uh, overhead there. Uh, that's why in some instances, uh, even, uh, for example, a 7900 XCX can uh, overperform uh, 4090 in some cases, mainly because of that issue. But yeah, uh, supposedly uh, they are promising major... Uh, IP performance efficiency uh, and performance gains up to 12x in particular use cases again uh, depends a lot on, on 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 the thing but this is comparatively to um, alchemist yeah alchemist uh, it will continue to be uh, highly scalable uh, so they can add up more to give mo uh, more performance there uh, especially on the um, the thing on the APU side of things there but yeah other than that uh, we got also the display engine so the, it will come out with uh, support for HDMI 2.1 display 2.1 uh, display port sorry 2.1 and the new EDP one point uh, I don't know what that is uh, but it's uh, another standard there supposedly uh, but yeah it's good to see hopefully uh, they will launch uh, in time to at least to compete with the RDNA 4 and uh, the 5000 series from uh, NVIDIA uh, to, so we can see how it uh, stacks uh, in terms of performance for them um, but yeah at, at least it's officially confirmed doesn't mean a lot of stuff because until the product uh, is out uh, they can promise all you want uh, they can promise all they want sorry and um, until the product is out we don't know any more information here but yeah supposedly you're going to get uh, a, a revision of the 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 the, 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 the 
what they call the XE uh, architecture here. But yeah, hopefully we'll get something uh, later this year, at least to compete with the RDNA 4, so we can, so we as consumers can have a good GPUs at a cheaper price. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Now, some from bad news. Uh, I watched this yesterday, the tweet here, and yeah, basically it, it is what it says on the um, on the title there. Uh, the Photoshop, so even the Adobe, I think it's basically the Adobe ones, uh, the Adobe uh, application suite. Uh, the terms of service, uh, basically uh, Adobe uh, grants itself access uh, to user projects for content moderation. <laughs> this is a huge invasion of privacy. Um, yeah, uh, for a lot of reasons. And for example, one of those, if you are a, a content creator, uh, that works uh, for a project, for example, that can be under NDA, which is not the disclosure agreement. So only the two parties supposedly uh, should know what that project is. Like, for example, Lodo or trademark stuff there that might happen until the project is finished. Supposedly, uh, Adobe reserves the right to check what you're doing in, the, in their own uh, software. Uh, given Photoshop, if you're editing something, uh, whatever it is, um, for example, if you're doing uh, photo, uh, not uh, Photoshop, the oh my god, the the, the video editor from them, uh, they could uh, just check what you're doing there on that project, and they can even reserve the right to block the the, the access to the software itself. From what I understand, um, this was raised by this uh, fellow here, Sam uh, Santala. Uh, he went about reading these updated terms here um, and, and he basically um, uh, called out the NDA, which I assume is more uh, is specific case there. Uh, again, I didn't see any kind of official replies there. Uh, but yeah, th this is bound to happen. They use this as an excuse to um, uh, the content moderation uh, that they are calling, which is basically spying what you're doing and how you, you're you using their software um, as uh, an excuse to improve their AI tools, which is bullshit. Uh, and even if they are, uh, again, I could have considered this uh, not even okay-ish, uh, but to a certain degree understandable if it was something that you're using for free, this software for free, and they reserve the right because we are giving you the platform or the tools to use in this specific way. We reserve the rights to check what you're doing to, to improve our functionalities of this uh, product uh, because we provide AI tools, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, they, they use this because you're paying for a monthly fee for the, 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 depending on how many products you use from Adobe and they are spying on you, checking what you do. And basically if they don't like what you do, um, of course, I'm not even talking about illegal stuff because uh, how do they know if you're doing illegal stuff or not unless they are spying on you, which is by itself is a breach of confidentiality of the fact that you're using the software there. Uh, and of course, uh, they uh, try to safeguard themselves by trying to explain that they're using this as to uh, improve their AI uh, features and also has something to like screening if you're doing something illegal they use the case of child pornography which is i don't think child pornographers are using photoshop to edit stuff uh usually uh, i don't know uh i don't know what child pornographers uh, could use photoshop for again uh to blur what the faces of the child i, I don't know it's this is getting a little bit out of hand because this comes right after basically recent uh, microsoft um announced they were going to use a, pro, a product which is basically recall which is basically they are screenshotting everything that you do so they can improve their ai tools in terms of uh, search and help and 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 all that jazz which is a kind of it's kind it's not the kind it's it's completely bullshit they just want you to spy on you it, it's it's something that yeah that's why i, I really if there is uh, something similar to Windows, but not Windows. Uh, I, I will already add jump in again. I'm Linux is not for me. Um, it's it's too much for me. But uh, 
we need to have an alternative here. So again, that's why uh, competition is good, not only for consumers, but uh, uh, it gives the, the pressure on companies to not do these kind of things. Uh, because Adobe, to a certain degree, uh, in terms of mindshare, in terms of editing a software, uh, being uh, images or videos or whatever it is, is uh, it's in the mindshare of a lot of people. Uh, even though you got alternatives, for example, image editing, you got GIMP, which is I think a free to, to a free software uh, to edit images, and I think it's pretty competent. Again, it, it uses different. Um, uh, again, the key uh, shortcuts and everything are a little bit different, but I think it uses pretty much uh, as same as Photoshop. And for example, on on the video editing thing, you got the uh, DaVinci Resolve, or in every uh, and got a lot of other alternatives also. But the main competitor to uh, Premiere is DaVinci Resolve, which is uh, something that you pay a, a fee, uh, like a lifetime fee for the, the version of that software. And that's it. Uh, you, you get to use that uh, software for forever, supposedly. So yeah, there is a lot of alternatives to Adobe. Uh, myself, I just quit using Adobe because I don't have uh, even uh, making money, uh, doing uh, a lot of stuff, and I use this kind of editing tools uh, for work. I, I just I'm not giving money to these kind of corporations for 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 a, a few years now. I, I stopped using um, Adobe software, so uh, it's one of those things that uh, there is a lot of alternatives there uh, as a workaround for these kind of things. And yeah, I'm not paying a, a subscription fee to Adobe for to be uh, spied on. Uh, but yeah, it, it's kind of a PSA uh, and a little bit of warning. Uh, but yeah, they are basically spying on everything that you do, even uh, even if it is something very personal. They will don't care. They will spy on you. Um, yeah, and also of course the, the the Microsoft recall stuff with the Copilot products that they have, which is the AI stuff. I already deactivated Copilot uh, through registry keys stuff there. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is not good. Uh, again, uh, when something uh, similar to Microsoft and it works the same way uh, and it's not Microsoft, I will probably jump uh, from uh, using Windows altogether. But yeah, until then, uh, I, I try my best to block every kind of uh, feature that Windows have that might be spying on me because I don't like being spied on. Uh, but yeah, basically that's uh, that's the, the news here from Adobe. Uh, it's the latest one. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it is what it is. So be careful if you or be or pay attention when you use any kind of uh, Adobe software. Um, regarding news games, uh, we got Summer Games Fest. Uh, we got a lot of rumors of the lineup that will come out um, on, on this uh, Summer Games Fest uh, showcase. Uh, and we might have uh, some good horror games, uh, excluding uh, Alan Wake 2 DLC uh, again. Um, I'm very interested mainly because of the story, but uh, yeah, the elements that uh, of the AI consultancy on this game and the fact that so far is still uh, exclusive to Epic Game Store, it's one of those that I'm putting pause, even playing the first Alan Wake and Control, because they are basically all connected. So. Uh, I pause myself of doing any kind of uh, playing those games at this moment and make the um, uh, uh, a gameplay run on it. Uh, but yeah, uh, re removing those you got supposedly, uh, at least in terms of official uh, revelations from uh, Geoff Kelly himself, supposedly Bloomhouse is going to launch uh, a studio, which is going to be Bloomhouse Games, is going to be officially uh, unveiled. Probably we will get uh, at least one or two teasers of games that are they are working on. We will have to wait and see. Again, I, from what I uh, assume here, they are going to be similar like Annapurna in, in terms of publishing uh, the games at least, uh, which is going to be interesting because Annapurna, um, in terms of uh, at least publishing their games, they they're being pretty good. We got uh, excellent cases which uh, uh, Stray. Cocoon being the latest ones, but you got a lot of indie games published by Annapurna. They're, they're being uh, pretty excellent uh, in terms of the of the quality there. And uh, also, we will get this one. Uh, this is uh, Slitherhead, new horror game 
uh, this is going to be uh, kind of first uh, like world premiere, how they like to call it. Um, yeah, this is from the original creators from Silent Hill, so Kichiro Toyama, uh, and it's coming from a bo bokeh game studio. I don't know if I uh, pronounced this that right, but yeah. Probably this is going to be a good show, uh, case for some horror games. I always like some horror games, uh, uh, from Resident Evil to Dead Space and all that stuff. I always enjoy a good horror game. Uh, but yeah, hopefully at least these two projects, uh, especially from uh, Bloomhouse, given that they usually produce uh, decent horror movies, uh, hopefully we get uh, uh, at least some good fun from, from this uh, showcase. But yeah. We'll have to wait and see. I think it's in about one or two days you will get the Summer Game Fest showcase, but yeah. Hopefully it's it's good. Regarding The Witcher 3, uh, it's been announced that they already launched the, 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 the tools. They unleashed the tools uh, for the for uh, the Witcher 3 in terms of uh, modding tools to improve the, the, the creator red kit. I, I forgot the, the specific name here, but we still have um the hd rework project from hulk hogan um again um this is uh, come after the next gen edition uh i think a few months ago when they announced this uh and he's still uh, finishing up work on the um, on this uh, edition here of the hd uh, even though we we still have access to the hd rework without being in the next gen edition but uh, yeah, we got a little bit showcase and you can see the improvements uh, in terms of the texture stuff there. And usually texture, uh, what you need here to, to run these kind of mods is just uh, make sure that you have a good VRAM on your GPU to run this. Because usually in terms of the, of the processing power, it's not that demanding uh, because it's just basically textures, especially on this uh, case here. But yeah, uh, hopefully by the end of the, the year, at least we got... Uh, not only this, but some good mods uh, coming out of that uh, Red Kit Creator or Creation Kit, something like that. I completely forgot the official name they gave to that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you will get uh, more good stuff for The Witcher 3 because, uh, again, even the vanilla experience at this time is still a, an excellent game uh, if you try out in vanilla uh, mode. But yeah, uh, I, I, I played uh, at least three times this game. One, the single player experience when it launched, then uh, with the DLC, and then with some mods, the third run. Uh, and I really, really did enjoy this. Um, but yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll get more uh, concrete news regarding this project. And Elden Ring, supposedly uh, we got, again, uh, we are ramping up to the Shadow of the Earth uh, DLC launch. Uh, supposedly there is going to be a patch uh, 1.012 this is specific this naming scheme for playstation and this comes from playstation game size uh, they were going to introduce uh, the support for the expansion here uh, which will bring the total file size uh, around 55 gigabytes give or take so around three more gigabytes than the current version um, again, this is for the support, even though supposedly the Shadow of Dirt 3 expansion will be around 15 to 16 gigabytes uh, file size there. Um, again, I, I assume this is to have like, I don't know, the framework of the base game to be uh, integrated with the expansion there. Um, I don't know what they're changing there, of course, but uh, when uh, for sure it, uh, it will give us a, a little bit, couple of more days for sure, and we'll have some Steam database kind of news regarding the, the, the like the patch or the updates on the versions of the game there. Uh, but yeah, uh, get prepared. Uh, I think the the preload thing, which uh, uploading, uh, downloading the the, the the expansion, going to be like two days before. We'll start. You can uh, start doing the download of the the expansion two days before the launch, if not mistaken. But yeah. Um, I have plenty of space uh, from my side here to uh, download the expansion and be ready to play it when it comes out. Again, I will try to, when the expansion comes, to uh, get immediate access to the LLC. Again, I'm not talking too much on the previews. I watch a lot of previews. 
uh, from Vatvadia, which is more lore heavy, a lot of technical ones regarding the mechanics, the new mechanics and the new weapons and the styles and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Everybody that played those around three hours uh, was pretty excited on the, the fact that they just basically played one zone there with two legacy dungeons we're going to get around 10 um remembrance bosses kind of a, a type thing plus all the the field bosses and all that jazz and i think that they had, even the dungeons and and the, the the caves and the such are more expanded to a certain degree it, which is something that we kind of expected given that expansions in from software games or the dlcs they usually are the kind of the pinnacle what they, because they, they refine the formula of the base game and they improve it on, upon on that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to, to, to go about the Shadow of the Tree and of course a lot of lore stuff and story and all that st stuff there. I'm pretty excited to, to, to delve deep e even more there. And lastly, we're just going to get the the acronym mafia story here i will try to include one every day so uh, <laughs> i keep everybody on par with what's, what's happening uh, again this uh, game let's say uh, concord i think it's called uh, yeah which has all the dei uh, festivities here uh, there is a new rumor that claims that uh, after the backlash of the feedback that people are being providing there the fact that the, the, the videos where this was announced uh, from the official PlayStation has a ratio of 44k dislikes to 5k likes uh, on these videos that uh, that comes with this showcase here of this game. Um, yeah, uh, seemingly all the feedback that people are throwing at this uh, studio, um, it's being uh, basically ignored and considered to a certain degree white noise, which is which is kind of interesting the the, the 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 use of the word white noise but yeah uh this comes from grums basically uh but yeah um they ignore they, they are ignoring uh, and good for them uh, uh yeah my main thing is if you want to f if you think you have a good thing in your hands um and it's ready for the mass market and if you really want to make some money out of it okay you just take your shot uh get your ideas get a original idea uh in the sense that uh, it's uh, even though it's kind of a copycat of overwatch kind of a game there because it's a 5v5 squad shooter PV pvp stuff there so it's not even a game for me uh, but again, if you really want to, if you think you have something in your hands that it's going to make some money, just take a shot with the original idea uh, in the sense that uh, there is no IP being damaged here uh, with the integration of the acronym Mafia uh, stuff there. Uh, yeah, we'll see. This is going to be a good case study uh, because it's very similar to Overwatch. So we'll see if all the people that don't feel represented in those kind of games if they're going to jump on board on this game and uh, i assume being working as overwatch i didn't even check the 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 the, the, the page there i think it's a, a free to play with the uh, microtransaction kind of a thing similar very similar to overwatch how it works it's free to play uh, but if you want skins and the such supposedly you you pay for it uh, i'm assuming that's the the, the thing here uh, because if they are uh, putting a, a price point on the game for you to use it, it's not going to attract anybody uh, i completely forgot if this game is like this like free to play with micro transitions or if it is if you have a a, a, a base uh, price on this game um, but yeah i'm not sure because yeah again I, I don't follow that much but i will have to to check that out if if the if you have like a base price point for you to as an entry level to play this kind of games uh i think it's going to be worse than they than i think that it is if it is like a free-to-play game but yeah we'll have to wait and see how this game will work out when it launches on oh my god um completely out of it later this year september i think I don't, I don't even remember i don't keep my eyes on these kind of games because even the the, the game uh, style is not for me it's a shooter uh, especially multiplayer but yeah it's not going to work out very well for this firewalk i think it's going to be they're going to burn very quickly uh, but yeah this is what i got in terms of news let's go for deals 
uh, we got Red Dead Redemption 2 again, even though it's uh, from 2K there. And I think, no, this doesn't have any the novel kind of a thing there. Again, this seems pretty excellent port there. Uh, still uh, very, uh, very uh, played uh, for, since it's launched. Uh, it's one of those that I would like to try out, given that it is uh, a single-player narrative game. That doesn't, it's not like GTA uh, that transforms itself to um, a, a money grab there. Uh, I think this is a good experience. Um, but yeah, uh, when I have time, I will try this game for sure. Uh, we got also System Shock Remake. Again, if you're not sure if this game is for you, you always have the demo here, which is something uh, that I always recommend all the developers and publishers do, is uh, put a, a little bit uh, uh, a little bit of gameplay there so people can uh, tweak it out and, and see if it's something for them. But yeah, 55% off, I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, we got No Man's Sky, 50% off. Uh, yeah, with their uh, Adrift Expedition expansion uh, now available. Uh, we got also Hogwarts Legacy, uh, which is 50% off. Again, it's one of those that I will try out eventually also. Uh, and we got also the Tomaturge. Uh, again, very positive reviews, uh, very interesting. Uh, it's more about uh, so na narrative. Uh, it's more focused on narrative and uh, like detective work. Uh, more than combat focused, but even though you got a lot of combat there, uh, but it's i think it's more like a detective kind of a thing there but yeah uh it's 25 uh, off and on gog we got the plague tale games uh the two games so innocence 80 percent off and requiem 55 uh, off and we got also deus ex human revolution uh director's cut 85 off and uh mankind divided deluxe edition uh 85 off also and this has all the dlc associated with this game so i think they are pretty good deals but yeah, for today, uh, this is what I got. Um, again, uh, when I can, I will try to do my Fury um, video there regarding um, Elden Ring, regarding the Nox and the Newman relationship there. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I will just wrap up with a plug on my Patreon for access support. Uh, the access support is uh, for me to get around getting a better storage solution for me to have backups of backups of stuff that I do for my clients and of course some extra space for the videos that I do for the channel and with all that said I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one so until then Nami Master out